you have to be proactive also. So it's not just, okay, I have an opportunity. I'm just going to like sit here and be reactive and kind of do things as they come to me. You have to kind of go to it. You know what I mean? I believe everyone knows who we're sitting with right now. But just in case, we definitely got Mr. Pusha T himself. Then we got the music man over here, Steven Victor. All right? From Universal Music Group. My path was I interned for a very long time at a record label, Interscope, to be exact. Um, yeah, I mean, that's where right. I started. I started interning. I gained the knowledge and the contacts from there. And from there, um, I got a job and then I got into management. Okay. Now, what's the importance, though, of interning? Because I think a lot of times when people here doing anything for free, it's kind of discouraging, but sometimes you have to work for opportunity. It's more about like opportunity, taking advantage of opportunities. Mm -hmm. So at the time when I was coming up, um, like interning was the only way. Like now it's different because the internet's making everything so accessible. So I think that's why a lot of people um, don't want to do anything for free. Right. Because it's, you know, sometimes you don't have to, but I think the the error in that is sometimes like when you're making mistakes and you and it's for free, it doesn't cost you anything. To add to that though, um, you know, I'd like to say that the the assistant who used to work for Star Trek Records, her name was Nicole Planton, or is Nicole Planton. Um, she she noticed Steven's work ethic and put me on to Steven. And eventually, you know, that started with him, you know, being publicist for the clips, to manager of the clips, to manage managing me today. So, like interning, like everybody's watching. I think I think that needs to be highlighted a lot because she definitely was like, you know, really co-signing and championing this guy. Just as you know, just as far as like, you know, him having his hand on the pulse of what's hot. Him knowing, you know, the avenues and lanes I should be in and, you know, just speaking, speaking to how he was in tune with the culture and where I needed to be at. Now, I read in different spaces, for the most part, both of you kind of always knew that you wanted to have your foot in this space, this space being the industry. I read that you kind of knew since high school. Not since high school, maybe since college, but to kind of touch on what Pusha said about Nicole, it wasn't. It wasn't that she noticed me. I, I was, <laughs> I was, um, like I was, you know, I guess bothering her for like weeks and weeks and weeks. Like, yo, you got it because I knew she worked at Star Trek. So, but but bothering like, her helped get you noticed. Nah, listen, of course, because it's not just bothering her. She, it, you know, like he said, I, I was on the post. I was doing a good job for the things that I was doing. So, nice. Um, Devoso. So it's not just okay. I have an opportunity. I'm just gonna like sit here and be reactive and kind of do things as they come to me, you have to kind of go to it. You know what I mean? No, definitely. Um, and that's another thing too, like you said, you have to be proactive and not be afraid to be persistent. I think that's another fear a lot of uh, you know, younger people have growing up now. I think everyone's scared to look like they need something, but when you're an intern, you are needy. You need and want to get to the next level. So do you want to touch a little bit on the importance of not being afraid to have your persistence mistaken for anything else but that? Yeah, I think that's the problem with social media. Everybody wants to like appear to be something that they're not, right? Right. So it's there's there's like a lot of um, in my opinion, like error with that. Like right. people just on Instagram or on social media and like looking said, flawless. Just, yeah, looking <laughs> flawless. Everybody's flawless. Yeah, no one makes mistakes. I guess it's actually pretty good then then that you guys came from the era in which you came with, because while you did still come from an era of like being in front, um, I mean, obviously you being an intern from like very young, you being successful since a very young age, but social media kind of like heightens it to a whole new level. So yeah. <laughs>